10.43%. So what what happened over here? What made Disney spike up 10.43%? Well, it turns out that actually Disney's releasing a streaming service where they'll stream. It'll be like a Netflix, but a Disney version where you can stream all the Disney flicks that you want. Now, this is pretty cool. I mean, imagine all the content that Disney has. Just think about Disney and all the movies Disney has made. I mean, Pirates of the Caribbean and so many. Disney just owns so much product. So much product. You know, so Disney, Disney has a lot of... Uh, classics lion king aladdin disney has all that stuff so this 10 percent is because of the streaming service that disney is has been um the media has been actually making a fuss about now when you look at the past month disney has been going up 15 percent when you look at the uh the three months 16.64 percent we, we look at the one year it's up 28.46%. Uh, but, but now subscribers, check this out, subscribers. Now when you look at, during December 21st, there was a huge decline in the market. So right now we're, we're in a bull, we're in a bull run right now, essentially. So now look at how low Disney went when it was, uh, when we were in a down market in December 20, or around December 21st, right here. So, uh, December 24th, it was down, down, um, only down not even 1%. But if it falls back down to where it was in December 21st, which was only four months ago, then we would be looking at a 30% decline. So, so keep that in mind, guys. Now, when we look at the uh, the five year the five year chart, we can actually see that every time Disney spiked in the past, like right around here, it collapsed. It fell. Like, look, it went up to one eighteen, and then it fell down right over here. It went up again, and then it fell down. And then Disney was kind of, if you look at it, it's been kind of sideways. So, just by looking at this right here, I can see that maybe Disney looks a little over overvalued right now. But a streaming service can make a lot of money, especially if they take all the customers from Netflix and Netflix goes out of business. Then this then this would be an undervalued company essentially. Now, when we look at the volume, we got a pretty decent volume at five million. It's it's a good volume, but it's not as high as its average volume at nine million. So for some reason, there's not as much trading going on. Now, when you look at the 52 week low, we're actually down all the way to 97 dollars at the 52 week low. Right now, we're actually at the 52 week high. That's why we could see the 52 week high is at 132 dollars. We're pretty close to that. So. We look at the market cap. The market cap close to two hundred billion. Uh, 